Hello everyone and welcome to the 0 to 10 Dynamics CRM 2011 series. My name is David Kohar and I'm going to be walking through the interactive session today. The session today is on the CRM 2011 Outlook client. And we're going to break this presentation down into three components. First we're going to go through a quick overview of the Outlook client and we'll talk through some of the features and benefits. Next we're going to spend most of our time going through and doing a demonstration. And then lastly we're going to look at specifically doing um, some changes in your personal options in order to make the solution more specific to your, to your individual needs. So the Outlook client. It's a CRM add-in that allows you to quickly take emails, contacts, appointments, and tasks and push those directly into CRM. Next it allows you to manage the CRM functionality that you have access to directly inside of Outlook here. So notice here on the screenshot that we've clicked on companies in the far left hand side. We've displayed a list of those organizations here in the middle and on the right hand side, we're rendering that information in a chart that shows accounts by owner. Finally, we're going to go in and look at some of the additional features that have come out with CRM 2011, like adding email templates or knowledge base articles that are already in CRM into your uh, actual emails themselves, allowing you to get richer emails out much more quickly. So let's get started. We're going to pop over here to Outlook. And you'll notice that I'm logged into Outlook using Office 2010 and Outlook 2010. So we've got our familiar ribbon here across the top. We have a CRM uh, toolbar here that allows us to go in and add CRM activities or go synchronize with CRM or go offline. Um, down the left hand side we have our, our folder structure that is very familiar to us now inside of CRM, marketing functionality, sales, service. So if I go ahead and open up sales, I can see you know, my folder structure for companies, contacts, opportunities, leads, etc. So that's all the classic information and where I'm going to find it. So if I go ahead and start looking at some of the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis, like sending off emails. I'm going to send an email here off to Adrian. I could say something like follow up on our discussion today. Um, I'm going to be able to now take this email and track it in CRM directly by clicking on the track button. And the experience that I'm going to have is if I hit the send button now, it's going to push this email out through my sent items, through Exchange. Um, it'll still be where it always is. But I'm also going to be able to go into CRM and go and look under Adrian's contact record and I will see a copy of this email there. I can additionally link this to another record inside of CRM. So if I click on the set regarding, I'm going to be able to go and link this to another company, opportunity, contact, or uh, maybe in a case of our internal implementation, we actually manage our projects. So I can link this to a number of different record types. You'll notice that I have a breadcrumb of all the recent uh, contacts, accounts, and different records that I've actually linked um, emails to previously. So I'm going to go ahead and to make this simple, I'm going to click on the grand store. And so now, when I send this email out, I would be able to go into Adrian's contact record or the grand store company record and be able to see a copy of this email. So I'm going to go ahead and send this email off now. I'm still going to go out through my sent items and be gone. But let's imagine that I wanted to do that email all over again. And instead of actually typing out anything, let's go and use um, an email template that we already have inside of CRM and actually do the work here for us. So I'm going to click on insert template here at the top. I'm going to select one of the contact templates um, here that I have. And you'll notice that what it's going to do is it's going to first drop in the subject line for me of the email template. It attaches a PDF document that I had inside that email template inside of CRM. And it gives me a stock set of, uh, of information here that drops into my email body to allow me to get this email out quickly with the information that I want to do on a consistent basis. So I'm going to now send this email off to Adrian, which is a much more useful and powerful email that goes off. And both of those, of course, would have been tracked in CRM, but allows me to use some of that email template functionality that I really like now in CRM 2011. Next, I'm going to move from sending emails to going over and looking at appointments. If I go over to my appointments, and let's say that in uh, May, I want to actually do a follow-up with, uh, with this organization and do a quarterly follow-up review. I'm going to go ahead and set a new appointment for Wednesday, May 18th. And I'm going to put in quarterly follow-up review. 
You'll notice that I also have my track functionality and my set regarding functionality. So let's imagine this case that I'm going to track this one back to the grand store. And now I have a quarterly follow-up review that I'm managing not only inside of Outlook, but inside of CRM as well. So the nice thing about this is that if one of my colleagues goes in and looks at the grand store company record inside of CRM, they're going to see that we have a quarterly follow-up review on Wednesday, May 18th. So next, what's, uh, what else we can actually manage inside of Outlook in CRM is our contacts. So when I click on my contact icon, I'm going to get a set of contacts here. Now I'm actually just down in a sample set of contacts, so I've got a sort of 14 or 15 contacts in here. You'll notice that I've got a two-person icon here that is on all of these contacts here. This tells me as an individual user that these contacts are actually being managed in CRM and synchronized to CRM in addition to being inside of my Outlook. So I can go and change these from Outlook, I can change them from CRM, I can change them on my mobile phone, and they're going to synchronize back and forth to allow me to actually get that information going from my mobile phone to Outlook and back to CRM. And then the other thing I can do is if I have a contact in Outlook here that's not being tracked in CRM currently, so this one here, Joe Reynolds, I can open it up and I can actually track the CRM, use the tracking CRM button here, and even set the parent organization. So I might come up here and click on this and put in, uh, let's see, star sample. And I'll go ahead and link this to the blue company as well. And now, this organization um, is going to have an additional contact, Joe Reynolds, and we're going to be tracking them in CRM as well. So you notice that Joe now has the two-person icon, and he's now a contact not only inside of my Outlook, but also now inside of CRM. And then finally, we have tasks. When I click on tasks, I can see a list of all of the tasks that I have going on. You'll notice again that the regular task icon is here for things that I don't track directly in CRM. But all the ones here that are tracking in CRM are also tasks that have uh, a CRM affinity to it. So I'm tracking these in CRM in addition to the tracking them inside of Outlook. When I complete them here in Outlook, it actually automatically um, updates CRM and, and completes the task inside of CRM. Or if I complete the task inside of CRM, it will automatically come back and update my, my Outlook for me. So as a quick review, we've got the ability to manage our emails more effectively inside of Outlook as well as push them back on CRM. We can manage our appointments, our contacts, and our tasks both from CRM and Outlook and synchronize between the two. And that's some of the key functionality for Outlook and some of our day-to-day -day productivity. Next up, we actually can get into the CRM functionality itself. So if I go ahead and open up this folder structure and go ahead and open up sales, I can go ahead and click on companies. And now we're going to actually open up CRM directly inside of Outlook here. And you'll notice in CRM 2011 now that the Outlook UI is still maintained as we look at any of the list views inside of CRM. So I've clicked on companies and I've started with a set of sample accounts that you can see here that are they're listed in the middle. Here's my accounts by owner, which is a nice little chart that I can have here on the right. And what's great about CRM 2011 is it allows me now to use this chart to actually manage my list here. So if I want to go and see all of Paul's accounts, I can click on Paul, and I see a list get re-rendered here in the middle of all of Paul's accounts. Or if I want to go see Margaret's, I can go see Margaret's here really quickly. If I want to go back to see all of them, I can just click here in an empty white space inside the chart, and it gives me back my entire list. So inside of Outlook here now, I'm really able to start to manage my CRM functionality specifically. So that's the quick overview of the Outlook client. I'm going to end here with looking at how to set some of our personal options. So when you install the Outlook client, you actually get a list of the things that would otherwise um, that otherwise synchronize by default here. So my activities and my contacts and, uh, and my tasks and whatnot. You can go and override some of those filters if you'd like, and I'll show you here how to do that in Office in Outlook 2010. So if I click on File and go down to CRM, I can see here that I have um, some options. So I can also come down here to Synchronize, and I'll click on my Outlook filters. 
When I do that, it's going to pop open the filters that I have that actually synchronize functionality between CRM and Outlook for me. So you can see things like my tasks, appointments, phone calls, etc. that are going back and forth. Now let's imagine that I want to make another uh, filter here that I want to bring um, into, into Outlook specifically. Let's say, for instance, I'm doing a West Coast swing and I'm going to the state of Washington and I might not otherwise have contacts that are in Outlook that I want to bring up uh, from CRM, but I want to add those in here because I may be making a trip or doing something like that. I can go ahead and click on New and set a new filter. So let's go ahead and do that for contacts. And in this contact filter, I'm going to say that all of the contacts that are in the state province equal to Washington, I want to actually add into my Outlook and synchronize them from CRM specifically. So I'm going to save this filter and call it uh, contacts in La State. Click OK. And now I have the ability to see those contacts get synchronized from CRM that are all in Washington State. And so what's great about that is that now I can, in addition to my contacts, which is the default uh, filter out of the box, I'm now going to be able to synchronize contacts from Washington State. So this is a great way for us to continue to tailor the user experience and allow people to bring things into Outlook, have them in CRM, push them up to our mobile phones um, by using the Outlook clients and the Outlook add-in. So let's wrap up. Thanks everyone, first of all, for joining the uh, interactive session here today. If you're interested in our complimentary Learning Labs program, which, which is provided to all the CRM Online trial participants, you can reach us at learninglabs at 010CRM.com. If you're interested in our project-based consulting, please send us an email to info at 010CRM.com. Again, this is David Kohar with 0 to 10, and we thank you again for watching the video today.